This week on the Cheat Meal Pod, we're going to be making the healthy version of nachos for you. So instead of tortilla chips, we are going to go with sweet potatoes. Kind of our play on Irish nachos, but with sweet potatoes. Wash those off a little bit, and then once they're done, pat dry them right before we start to slice them up and get them onto the pan and get them seasoned before we throw them in the oven. I got a little bit bigger sweet potatoes than I normally do and noticed that it was a little bit more difficult to cut through. Um, but speed this up a little bit so we don't have to take our entire time doing that. So cut them up like you would a little uh, sweet potato rounds as you can see there. Cutting off the ends, uh, not going to use those. So once we get both these cut up, we're going to throw them on the pans, throw a little extra virgin olive oil on them, uh, get them really good to go, make sure they're spread out a little bit for now. Um, so we can get all this different seasonings on there. Throw some uh, extra virgin olive oil on. Right after that, we are gonna go over to the garlic powder. And all these seasonings, as you see, are gonna be able to add that, uh, that nacho flavor to it. Um, so right after we do this, we're gonna do a little ground cumin and throw ground cumin on all of them. Uh, actually had trouble getting the lid off that one. And then we're gonna throw some chili powder on there as well. And then also a little bit of salt and pepper. So once we do that, uh, we'll get our hands on them, start mixing them a little, up a little bit, making sure that the seasoning's on all sides, and then we'll throw those in the oven and let them bake a little bit, get nice and crispy, be able to pull them out of the oven uh, once they're officially done. So now we're going to cut up some jalapenos. We're going to use these for both the uh, homemade guacamole and then also throw some on top of the uh, nachos once they're done as well. So we're going to slice the uh, avocado in half, and then we're gonna deep hit it. Nice little turn there, throw it away. Kind of impressed I got it on the first try. Thought I was gonna hurt myself. Next, chop up the jalapenos a little bit finer. We're gonna throw that into the bowl with the avocado. And then we're gonna take a can of diced tomatoes, throw them in there as well. Um, dice up some, some cilantro. Once we get the cilantro uh, chopped up pretty nicely, throw that in there, then cut a lime in half and squeeze the juice of the lime in there. Um, didn't really show it, but also threw some salt and pepper, uh, get that ready to go, and then start mixing that up. Um, and then uh, once we do that, chop up a red onion, get that nice and finely chopped, throw that in the bowl as well. So now that our guacamole is done, we can focus on uh, the nachos coming out of the oven. So instead of wasting dishes, I'm just gonna throw it all onto one plate. So we're just gonna use the uh, the pan that we use to, uh, to bake them in to start building out our nachos. Now we're going to take some cheese and once we layer all the cheese um, onto the nachos we're going to throw that back into the oven on broil for about 30 seconds to a minute. Um, as you can tell just melted the cheese, got it really going. Throw some diced onions on the top and then the rest of our jalapenos spread out. Some black beans and then uh, we're going to throw a little bit of corn on there as well. And then we're going to start showing the, the healthier version as we go here. Um, next we have uh, just more of those diced tomatoes that we had earlier. And then we're also going to throw uh, non-flavored Greek yogurt on there, uh, taking the place of sour cream. I didn't know how it was going to taste actually once I looked up this recipe, it was actually really good. Once we get that laid on there, we're going to take our guacamole from earlier, start throwing that in different areas of the nachos. What I've learned with nachos, it doesn't really matter what you do, just throw it all on there and it'll work out. Put some cilantro on there and then uh, take uh, the last of the salsa that we have that uh, we just picked up at Kroger and throw it on top. So make sure you go through, like, subscribe, turn on your notifications so you can see what we're doing. Um, and also follow us on all our social media. Let us know what you want us to see next at the Cheat Meal Podcast and Whiskey Pines National.